Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to take a look at Jever, or I believe in German it might be pronounced Ever. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm just going to go with Jever just for the sake of argument. So this brewery uh, was founded in 1848. And it survived through a couple of ownership changes. And it survived uh, the first part and middle part of the 20th century, which is really saying something right there. Uh, due to all the turmoil in Europe with World War I and uh, World War II. And uh, especially after World War II, um, I read online that uh, Jeever was, um, they were only selling the beer at the brewery gates as really, I guess, because after World War II, directly after, the country's infrastructure was destroyed, uh, literally, and getting goods and getting things to people was rather difficult, so that was really the best way to do it. So, it this is Jeever Pilsner, as said. Uh, crisp bitterness, hoppy flavor, and a dry finish. And this is a, 30, a 330 milliliter bottle, or about 11.2 fluid ounces for those of you metrically challenged, as I am. And it contains 4.9% alcohol by volume. Well, first off, I really like this label. It's just, it's plain, it's simple, and it's to the point. And it just looks really good with the green bottle, I think. I just, um, it's just a good contrast in my opinion. So the bigger question is, how does this taste? Oh, that's, uh, oh, that's quite nice. It's got a, um, definitely what I would expect in a German beer. There's a hint of sweetness, there's some bitterness, and then there's dryness. And it's, uh, packaged together really interestingly. Mmm. Yeah, I do like that. Um, you definitely, you definitely can taste the hoppiness in it. Um, the flavor is very full and very strong. There is dryness, but there's not too much dryness. Um, I had a little bit of that problem with, I believe it was Velton's beer, where it had just too much dryness for me. This has um, just enough, but it's not overpowering. But it has that sweetness factor too, which uh, makes for a really good combination and a really well-balanced beer. So, would I recommend this beer? Absolutely. I mean, go out and try this one. I don't think you will be disappointed. And especially if you like German beer, this is a must try right here. So guys, um, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.